Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So a question people have asked me various times on this YouTube channel is, what is the best food to break their daily intermittent fast with? And the answer to that question is not very simple. It depends upon the diet that you're eating first off. But what I will always say is you want to be consuming something that is going to wake up the digestive system very, very gently. And what I mean by that is you don't want to be going eating the most densest, heaviest food that is really hard for your body to digest and that requires a lot of digestive energy. That is just a bad, bad idea. So depending on your diet, it is going to vary what foods are gonna be the best foods for you to break with, as I just mentioned a moment ago. So look at all the foods in your diet and work out which ones are some of the faster to digest foods that can gently wake up your digestive system, as I've mentioned. So for me, I eat a plant-based vegan diet that's a high carbohydrate diet with a moderate amount of fat and protein. And I have found, for me, from my own personal experience, coconut water is definitely the number one best thing for me to break it with. Because first off, it's really easy to digest, as easy as water. And it is one of the best natural electrolyte drinks that you can possibly can consume. And it has an abundance of other phytonutrients within it which get depleted whilst you're in your fasted state daily. And I also just find that it just raises my energy levels massively after consuming it. It helps improve my sports performance and sports recovery time. And it gives me a whole host of mental and physical health benefits as well. So as you can see, for me, that's really suitable, but maybe you do not consume coconut water in your diet whatsoever due to eating a specific type of a diet. So the other options that I would normally recommend to people is either a green juice, which pretty much every diet allows green juices. And I would recommend with the coconut water and the green juice to try and get freshly made raw coconut water or raw green juice. And again, the green juice is really easy to digest. It has an abundance of vitamins and minerals and other micronutrients that's just gonna help optimize your health. And it's just gonna make you feel really good for the rest of the day. There's also a third option, which not everyone's gonna get on with this. Some people may feel that their blood sugar levels drop, but freshly made orange juice or other types of freshly made fruit juice is suitable for a lot of people. And number four is fresh ripe fruit, which is obviously way better than freshly made fruit juice because it has all the fiber intact. So it's not gonna raise your blood sugar levels and insulin nowhere near as much as freshly made fruit juice would. Number five, either some sort of fruit smoothie, freshly made, or green fruit smoothie, or some other type of smoothie that hasn't got loads of dense, heavy foods contained within it that is really easy to digest. And number six could be some sort of raw salad. Not a salad that is covered in oil and fish or even cheese, that is just pretty much all vegetables within it but mostly salad so a lot of lettuce even red bell peppers cucumbers and zucchinis and various other different types of salad material that you could add to making your own salad so as you can see i've just mentioned all plant-based things and i'm not just saying this because i eat a plant-based diet i would recommend this to anyone on a diet whatever they are eating because all of these different foods if they're suitable for you to eat are just great for giving you the best health holistically and as i mentioned it's just brilliant foods to wake up the digestion and then once you've consumed those and they've passed out of your stomach and your body's fully digested it in the stomach then you could go on to denser heavier foods and it's very rare for me to ever go straight into dense heavy foods it pretty much almost never happens. Um, no, 
No, it just hasn't happened whatsoever. I had to double check with myself then. And I just found that that helped me feel the best. Because if you're just breaking your fast with really dense, heavy food, your digestive system is using so much energy to digest that food. And then for a lot of people, it's going to make their energy levels drop. So this is just something to be very mindful of. But if you don't want to consume some of those things I've mentioned, just do some experimentation and just be mindful around the foods that you're going to break the fast with and see what works best for you. Because what may work best for me or other people may not be the best for you. And one last thing I'd like to mention is if you're not going to consume any of those things I've mentioned, also just think, what is an easy to digest food for you that makes you feel good that is very dense in minerals? Because as I mentioned early on, your body is depleting minerals and other nutrients within the body. So you want to be eating some very nutrient rich foods when you break your fast and preferably throughout your whole eating window within a day. Because if you're just eating loads of refined processed foods that is just food, that is full of artificial things and that is made in a factory and that can last years and years and years such as McDonald's it's not obviously the healthiest food for you I'm not anti those foods completely but it's best to try and eat as much whole food as you can that are rich in a variety of macro and micronutrients so you can maximize your lifespan and have the best health holistically within your mind and body. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I love answering your questions. And if you haven't already, like the video down below. Give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. I don't mind. And please share this video with anyone else you think would like to hear my own personal thoughts on what the best foods are to break your daily intermittent fast with. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more informational videos from me on a regular basis and on specific subjects such as intermittent fasting, one meal a day, calisthenics, calisthenics workout and progression videos, weight loss videos, and a variety of other different videos to teach you and abundance of information to go in the direction to achieve the body side the fitness levels and the energy levels as well like i've managed to and many people that follow in my advice around the world so if those type of videos sound good to you make sure you click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button otherwise youtube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and i have new ones coming almost every single day so as always stay fit stay energetic and go get those gains Peace.